Okay, we have here today another integral. This one's from the MIT Integration B from 2006, problem number four. We have the integral of e to the arc cosine x dx. Okay, now to get started with this one, really what I want to deal with is just this crazy exponent on the e. We don't really want that there, and so what I can do is, let's do a u substitution to try to simplify this. So I'm gonna just set my u equal to inverse cosine of x. And before taking the derivative, let's just take cosine on both sides in order to isolate the x. So, so just flipping this expression around, we end up isolating x and we have x equal to cosine of u. I'll take my derivative here, so we're gonna have dx, and this is gonna become minus sine u du. So now we'll just go ahead with our substitution over here. So this is gonna become, this will become e to the u. dx is gonna become minus sine u du. And now that we have two things in our integral, I think this is a good case for integration by parts. I'll use the di method over here on the right. And it's not really gonna matter which I choose to differentiate and which I choose to integrate. So let's differentiate minus sine u, and I'll integrate e to the u. I'm taking derivatives here, so the derivative of minus sine u is gonna be minus cosine u. Then one more time, if I differentiate here, derivative of cosine u is gonna be minus sine u times minus, this is gonna become a plus sine u. And then over here, the integral of e to the u is just gonna be e to the u, and we'll just do it one more time. So we'll have part of the solution on the diagonals, and what I'll do is factor an e to the u out of this. Now here, the second one's gonna be minus times minus, or plus, so I'm gonna kinda of change the order, and we'll have plus cosine u here, and then we'll take this minus sine u over here. But then from here, what I wanna do is, just notice I stopped integrating here, even though we keep going, but it basically repeats with where we have, it basically repeated, but with a different sign. So here we have sine u, e u, and then look at our original integral over here, we have minus e u sine u. So just to make it clear, if this thing here is equal to i, then over here, this is actually gonna be like minus i, just because we don't have the minus i in this. So up here we can write this, we can write this here as, we can write this in as minus i, and over here we'll have an i, but I can just add an i on both sides in order to isolate this. So this will cancel here. Adding the i's here, we're gonna have two i, equal to this thing down here. But I wanna solve for i, so I'll divide by two here on both sides. So that'll cancel and isolate our i. And now to finish off, I'm just about ready to back substitute with the u value, but a couple things I wanna notice. Now for when we do this, we have our u value. We already have cosine of u right here. But what I want is a value for sine of u. What I can do actually is make some space and draw the triangle and find that before we back substitute. So let's see how this is gonna work. If I can draw a nice right triangle like this. That's terrible. Okay, now that we have a perfect right triangle, I'm gonna use this formula right here. So our angle is gonna be u, and we're saying cosine of u is gonna be x. I can write it as x over one. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so the cosine of u is gonna be just x over one. Then with Pythagorean theorem, we can find our third side. This is just gonna become one minus x squared. So now I mentioned before what I want is a value for sine of u. So for sine of u, we just want opposite over hypotenuse, and that's just gonna be square root of one minus x squared over one. I can just write this as square root of one minus x squared. And so now that I have u, cosine u, and sine u, I'm ready to back substitute to finish this thing. So now that we have all the values we need, I'm ready to back substitute in order to finish this off. So we're gonna have e, u, which is our cosine of x, then here we're gonna have cosine of u, which is just x minus this thing, square root one minus x squared, all over two, at a plus c, and that's it. Oh, the two got cut off. So in order to save some space, I'm actually gonna take this two and bring it in front and write it as one half. And then here, plugging in our u, this is gonna be e, our cosine of x. Cosine of u is gonna be just x minus square root of sine u, which is gonna be square root of one minus x squared add a plus C, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good problem from MIT 2006. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a good day.